One World Virtual is launched through a browser on your desktop, such as Safari, Chrome, or Firefox, and soon will be supporting Internet Explorer. To get into One World Virtual, you simply head to a URL that we provide and log in. This is the Map Navigator. It's a way to get to any of the rooms in your 3D building in one of two ways. You'll either choose Go 3D, which is a way to go from here into any of these rooms, and once you're in the building between the rooms, taking a 3D animation ride, or Go Direct, in which case you'll go from A to B directly. You'll fade from one place to the other. But for the moment, we're going to take Go 3D into the lobby. So here we are in the employee lobby. The URL, by the way, is will expand with your browser. You have uh, a number of applications above the desk in the center. And to the right, two rooms to have conferences with a number of people. The projects room on the left, and the conference room on the right. In the center, we have a number of applications that OneWorld has provided to accelerate productivity between a distributed team. You'll notice on the top left a live clock and underneath that meeting scheduler, which is One World Virtual's scheduling application for the projects room on the left and the conference room on the right. Meeting scheduler is a way to not only see what meetings are going on right now or today or this week, but also to schedule a meeting, to make changes to a meeting, and to join a meeting that's in progress. Team outreach to the right is a way to reach any member of your team in an unscheduled, around the water cooler, peer-to-peer -peer, on either video, audio, or text. You could also email them through this application, share a file or something on your desktop, all in kind of a spontaneous, unplanned, one-to-one -one communication. And your teammates could be anywhere, on a Mac or a PC, on any kind of device, as long as they have a, hard, have a high-speed connection or in a, or in a Wi-Fi environment. Down below, there's Link's dashboard, which is a collection of widgets and websites that will be curated by the team. This is just a sampling you're seeing now. This is live weather, maps and traffic on the web. And next to it is more, which is a curated list that you or your company or your team would choose. It could be websites. We have the New York Times here. This is Bloomberg but it would be anything that you or your company wants to have in here that the team would be using all the time in real life. Down below is, a, is an inter-team message, message system. You can send a message and check messages from any member of your team. Below that is access to applications. This would be a, cura a curated list by the team or the company. We could put anything that's on your desktop here. In this case, I'm just launching mail. This is the employee lobby, but there's also a public version of this, so you could invite guests, uh, outsiders, partners, vendors, and so on to come into the building, but they would see the public lobby. This is all content that you and your team would provide, their websites, widgets, blogs, whatever you and your team want outsiders to see. Let's head, head into a meeting in the conference room. I'm just clicking the doors on the right. And we're going to join a meeting. By, we're going to schedule it by joining now. This is One World Virtual's conference room. To have audio and video triggered through your Adobe Flash Player, the Adobe Flash Player settings window, which just popped up, will appear. But before I allow that so you see me, we can support up to eight users on video, more on audio or text. By clicking on things on the walls or on the desk, you're going to enable applications that, that One World Virtual has built. I'm just clicking on the yellow post-it pad on the lower part of the desk. I can move this around and I can take notes while I'm in a meeting. The group chat also pops up but I can resize that window, move it around, which is basically the default for all the applications. We want to allow you to move things around to suit your needs and to place things on the size of the interface 
can stretch this out to give more room. I could launch my calendar from, from the calendar icon, which is on the desk, right next to group chat. And there are a number of other things here. So now I'm going to allow my video so you'll see me. All I have to say is welcome.